trips me out is like the way you look and who you are mm-hmm. is completely different. Right. Like if somebody saw you walking down the street, they would be 100% intimidated by you. Probably go to the other side and be like, this dude looks like a serial killer. Because you right. totally do. Right. You're like a mean, evil serial killer <laughs> with your beard and your tattoos. Because that's what tattooed people look like. Right. But then like who you are, it's, it's such an anomaly because you're like, you know, animal lover, like totally into charity, would like, I could see you getting up and dragging a man out of bed and being like, come on, we have to go to Dairy Queen. Absolutely. Even though you don't eat ice cream, but you would go and buy it mm-hmm. just because they don't eat 50% of their profits to charity. That's it. Buy like three of them, put them in the freezer and let them <laughs> sit there for two years. Exactly. <laughs> you look nothing like who you are, right. I guess. Which I mean, I guess really, what are you supposed to look like? That's well, I mean, so super, the way the rest of the world is like judgmental, but. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you think about it, I am technically... A serial killer? Pretty much. I mean, I definitely could be. <laughs> so, you know, it's not entirely false. But when you say serial killer, are we talking like mass murderer or Fruit Loops? <laughs> or like people? The world may never know. Right. Right. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. Grand the knife. Grand the knife. They're not dead. I can work with them.